so glad you came along using the train with masks. Thank you for coming. Your Excellencies, Honorable Ambassadors and Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, it's my sincere pleasure to welcome you here to Östergötland County. My name is Carl Fredrik Graf and I'm now, I've been governor here in Östergötland since two years now. And I'm proud to be a governor in a region where environmental challenges turns into business opportunities on a daily basis. So please memorize this now, because this is what the next part of this lecture will be about. In the future, more of the interesting innovation will happen through collaboration. What is a problem here is, of course, an enormous resource or asset somewhere else. And when we show people these images, no one have re really thought about it very much. But these systems are about utilities cooperation and byproduct exchanges. We could make really a global difference. And there was a wonderful article suggesting in, in 2018 that Sweden would actually be a quite nice fossil free world fair. Here is a place you can come, you can learn about the Swedish system thinking and how you get these things together. Going into the Handelö Eco Industrial Park, what I want to show with this picture is that the biofuel plant for Lantmannen fits us quite nicely, creating a circular economy within the company because we, we are not only producing products that is needed in our parts of the company as a raw material, but we are also using waste and residues from other parts in the Lantman group as a feedstock uh, for the bioethanol plant. So we, by having this biorefinery, we create synergies internally to create a circular economy within the group. You have specialized industries, but you have a corporation. But being neutral, you don't have a vested interest. The interest of the project is actually the well-being of all company. And the raw material for you know, is the biofuel from the forestry, but also waste from the community and the exchange with the district heating. We are using visualization to communicate science to a general audience. But we're not only doing that, we're also promoting companies. Uh, we have spin-off companies from here. We have collaborations with a very large number of partners. So with the help of many, many talented people, I will now bring you uh, open space and we will take a journey out into space. So where you can see the stripes across the surface of Mars. So now we're flying into the terrain where you would actually be able to see humans. The sand dunes are about 25 to 50 meters in altitude. Governor, it's really nice to be here with the EU ambassadors today because I think part of the Green Deal is, of course, sustainable agriculture. And it's great to see here in Linköping, uh, Breta Kloster, where you try everything, be it improving the technology, be it improving training, soil examination, the whole sustainable circular agriculture which you try. So thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you for coming. The question of healthy, sustainable food production and the necessity of smart, green climate technologies are two key challenges that no country can manage on their own. The County of Östergötland and the City of Linköping are in the forefront in the work with these challenges. You have already seen, you have not, but you have seen it in the Visualization Center, the Hendeli uh, uh, Energy Production Unit. And here at Vreta Cluster, the green, high-tech and sustainable, uh, sustainable agriculture is in focus. Waste product for one is a resource for the next one. So it, that, it gets the circular economy to run further efficiently. Uh, and I've been told that the, the theme for your visit to Östergötland is the European Green Deal. And I'm sure you've heard about the part of the Green Deal that's called Farm to Fork from uh, horticulture, aquaculture, farm production, uh, animal production, plant production, all the way to the fork in the lower right corner, that is the food. 
Uh, and our goal is to make business development and technical development go hand in hand uh, to create innovation along the whole food chain. We can make a sustainable development when different firms can interact with each other. One firm has one product to sell and another product is, is waste. And in the next step, uh, company number two can use the waste products. And I think that's also important for uh, the circular economy and for the environmental driven industry. So altogether, I hope that you have got a good picture of what we can offer here in Östergötland. Sure, we did. And I, I'm really happy because I heard some ambassadors saying that they want to come back also to connect universities and research, yeah. but also with companies. Yeah. So I hope this is the start of more visits to come and I thank you very much. Thank you.